Hello, this is Ling Chi, um, brush painting for beginners from Oriental Art Supply. Today the subject is going to be Dahlia. It's an exciting subject, has so many color combinations. And um, I worked on it quite a while because the, the flower is kind of multiple uh, petals and uh, also it's a round shape. So you, it can be get very symmetric. Um, so finally, I, I worked out a final composition that that's what I'm going to uh, demo today. Um, I'm going to use chip colors. I have indigo with yellow to make the green, yellow, vermilion, and carmine. These are all chip colors. And then I have Bass Bottle ink here and Sakura White as the base. And then the uh, brushes, I have two twig brush. This is a wonderful brush to do this subject because give you volume, tip, very easy to control um, because it's short and bouncy. And then I will have a lotus petal to do the leaves. You can sub this with, um, with large flow. And then I'm going to do this on this pre-mounted board. This is brand new to us with the border. And you can also use uh, any unsized shim paper. So I'm going to use uh, my um, small um, twig brush, load the yellow, and then no, I'm sorry, load the um, Sakura white and then rinse the tip off. And then I'm loading the yellow with a little green on the tip. This is where it's going to be my center of my flower. So I'm uh, making the center towards the corner of the upper paper. Um, I will start about Mm, a little bit um, over the half of the paper. So it, it's about here. So I form a center for my flower. And then the same brush, I'm rinsing it off the tip. And now I'm going to low the yellow and tip with the vermilion. And then I'm going to build a smaller paddle around the 
um, the center of my flower. This is very similar to the orchid leaves when you start learning how to paint. So it's a great practice. The challenging part is that you always want it, every leaf, uh, every petal will come to the center of this base. So that's where people get lost because it's a moldable petal. And make sure that um, they are in and out. In other words, some is shorter, some is longer. So don't be afraid to have space in the middle because you can always coming back, fill it in later. If you get it too crowded, then that's when you get into trouble. Okay, I'm going to continue with um, yellow with tip with vermilion. So I'm leaving a lot of space of between each petal because if I want to, I can come back and fill that in. But right now, just because I try to fill it in before, it just make it look very rich. So as we are not very, when we first just learning how to do it, which I also are facing a lot of issues and you some, a lot of times you try to fill it in too, especially when you look at that real flower, it has a lot of um, petals. So you, then you have a, a tendency wanted to, to fill it in all the way through. So then it becomes manageable. So you can see that every petal, I'm trying to have it come back to the this base.
Okay, and then uh, I'm going to use a little bit vermilion with the uh, ink. This is too dark. This is my dark brown for the base of the flower. Do some of this color with a little green filled in. Add some texture to the center. Okay, and then I'm going to use vermilion with carmine. Make sure your brush is pretty dry. So some of the tip is not going home, then I just kind of add a little bit. This way will add my dimension of the flower. It looks, um, it will give you more um, depth. And also some of the petal, if it's, if it's not coming back, then I will. extended so make sure that they are going home Okay, so then I'm switching to my um, Lotus Petal Brush. You can use Large Flow. And I'm going to use the green as my base. And then look and tip with ink.
Okay, hope you have fun to do uh, Dahlia and you can do purple, you can do blue, all different colors. And I think it's also a great subject to do it on the, um, the square paper. And I done one before this one. I think this one, when I did the a markup, is a little bit freer than when I'm doing it on the camera.